In this demonstration, we're going to look at resource mailboxes. A resource mailbox can either be an equipment or a room resource, but to be fair, you can use it for whatever you want. It could potentially be a parking space within your company. In order to create a resource mailbox, we come into Exchange Admin Center. We come to our Resources tab, and on our Resources tab, we click on our plus. We've got two options, Room or Equipment. I'm going to create a room mailbox. And then all I need to do is fill out some information relating to this mailbox. So I'm going to call this Conference Room 1. Alias will be Conference Room 1, so that's going to generate an email address of conferenceroom1 at adatum.com. Location will be London. Capacity is 20. Click on the More Options and specify where we want to put that mailbox. So we'll put our mailbox database 1. Now we've done all of that, next thing to do is just select our Save button. And that's now create our Conference Room 1. Now we've created Conference Room 1, all we need to do is just edit some of the settings. So if we come to the Edit button, what we have on the general page, it's general information. So it's things that we filled in when we actually created the account. Booking Delegates, we've got two options here. We can either accept or decline booking requests automatically, or we can select somebody who will be responsible for accepting or declining the booking request. So that could maybe be the um, office administrator who's responsible for looking after all the rooms. In the case of our booking options, we can allow repeating meetings on this room. We can allow scheduling only during users working hours. We can always decline if the end date is beyond whatever limit we put in place. Maximum booking lead time, um, I'm gonna make that 365 days. We can specify the maximum duration for a meeting, 24 hours. And we can put some text in place here as well, just so that um, users get something meaningful pops back when the meeting is either accepted or rejected. So what we're gonna do is we'll just enter some text in here. Now what I'm putting in here, you have successfully booked conference room one. I will select save. We'll just come back into edit, just go over the other options. Now I've saved that off. So what we've also got as well is we've got the contact information that we can fill out. We can see the email address that's been generated. We can put in mail tips, so this is what users may see uh, before they actually send the email. So I could put something in there relating to if this was delegated that you have to wait for a response coming back from the delegator. Mailbox delegation, so this is where we can assign additional permissions to this mailbox. We're not going to bother modifying any of that, so I'm happy with the modifications I'll put in place, so I'll just cancel off those additional changes I've just made. So now we have that up and running, the next thing to do is to test to make sure it works. And to do that, we're just going to move over to the client machine, and we're going to get our user Nathan to actually put a meeting in that room. So we're logged in as Nathan, so we're just going to come to New Items, uh, we're just going to go for a meeting. Uh, what we have is we have an appointment here, so we can just fill everything out. But if we want some assistance to ensure that we're not booking a room that's already in use by somebody else, we can also use our scheduling assistant. So in the case of our scheduling assistant, we can add in attendees and we can add in rooms and we can specify times as well within here. I'm just going to do it through the appointment. So what we're going to do is we'll add in administrator. Subject at this point here will be sales meeting. Uh, what we'll do is the location will be, if we go for our rooms, we'll be a conference room one. And then what we'll do is we'll just specify a time. So we'll specify the time to be, let's start the meeting at 10 a.m. And we will finish that meeting at, let's say, 12 p.m. Now we've done all of that. Next thing to do is to send the message or the meeting request. So we'll select our send button. That's now going to send it off. And what we should see within a few seconds is we should see that the meeting request was accepted. So that is the auto accept and reject. And again, just to remind you, you can also as well specify delegates. So we can specify a delegate to either accept or reject the meeting. But at this point here, we've just done an auto accept. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.